Wow. That is huge. Oh, you know what? That one's bigger. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. You know me. Love to get lost in a good book. I swear, I do that bit like once a year. Uh, shout out to the OGs that remember that one. But outside of my love for reading, I love getting some camos. So today, we're gonna be getting our Marks from Rifles Platinum. And to get Platinum, we need to get 25 long shots for all six Marks from Rifles. So we got a lot of long shooting to do today. And let me show you my builds for all my Marks from Rifles. Here's my Lockwood Mark II. If you guys saw the last video, you saw me put on the X10 Angel here that has the target range indicator. And some of you guys were saying there's another site in here that has a target range indicator, but it has like a further optic, like a, a, a further map magnification point like a four times and i was scrolling through here and i could not find it so uh if you know an optic that is better than this let me know but for today i'm using that here is my spr 208 build here is my epr 14 build here's my lms build here's my sab 50 and here is my tac m and we have an ungodly amount of long shots to get so i'm gonna go ahead hop in tier one and try to knock these out now really quick before we get into going for these long shots here because we actually have a decent map i need to address something that i said in the last video and i think some people might have misunderstood it. Let me move around real quick so I don't get kicked for inactivity. I may be stupid. I may be an idiot and I may be dumb, but I am not a moron. In the last video, I was talking about the perk system in this game and how you can only change your perk package and not individual perks. What I meant by that is while you're in game, you can only change perk packages and you can't go through and edit individual perks. Like if somebody's using a lot of explosives and you want to put on bomb squad, tough titties. You can't because you can only just change these perk packages in game. That's what I was talking about. I saw some people concerned. They're like, how are you max level and you've only been using the default perk packages? I'm not. I'm not that dumb. But I can understand how people thought that and I just want to clear that up. But now we need to get all these long shots, which is going to take forever. I'm pretty sure we need to get like 150 of these. And we have to compete with literally every other person playing tier one because that's the only reason people play this mode. Like the time to kill is so fast anyways in core that people don't even really play tier one for, you know, the hardcore aspect of it. It's literally all just for camo challenges. At least that's what I've seen. And I'm pretty sure, at least from what you guys were telling me, the long shot distance is 38 meters for marksman rifles, which is pretty far. So I might be doing a whole lot of backing out of lobbies if I find one that doesn't have a decent map for long shots. But Las Alamos here is actually pretty decent for him as long as I can actually hit my shots. There we go. And I do get a lot of people saying like, oh, just play ground war, uh, play shoot house and shoot, look down mid. For whatever reason this year, Looking down mid on shoe house has not been like very effective for me. It, it seems like nobody really peaks mid anymore. I, I'll, I'll see like the occasional sniper or whatever. Maybe it's like one guy. But from my experience, every time I need to go for a camo, nobody's there. Anytime like I'm just doing anything else, there's people there. I feel like it's... They're on, they only show up when I don't need them to. And for these marks from rifles, it feels like I've been living in hit marker city, population me. So I'd rather, you know, just avoid the pain, you know, rip the bandaid off and hop into tier one. So if I see somebody and I shoot them, they're going to be dead. Because there's no worse feeling when you need to get long shots and it's already taking forever than when you go to shoot somebody at long shot range and it doesn't even kill them. Like seeing that hit marker and then them go behind cover behind a wall where you can't even like get to them is just a very defeating feeling. Another defeating feeling is somebody having a chopper gunner or whatever the hell this thing is. And you're already like so weak. Like you, you take like a, a pebble of damage and you're dead. But I think we at least got three long shots this game, which is saying a lot because in, in our last video, I was like, you know what? Let's try to let's try to do the long shots. And I played a whole like 25 minute game and got one of them. So I'm like, you know what? This video will never come out if if I if I sat there and tried to get them for all the, the marks from rifles in the last one. But now I'm paying the price. And also, I'm pretty sure we're like 36 out of 51 for polyatomic. So after today, I'm going to be sitting nice at a, at a 42 platinums out of 51 platinums. Meaning we're going to be less than 10 away uh, after we finish this class, which is going to be pretty sick. Also, just seeing my teammate on the ground over here a second ago with last stand kind of makes me want to use it for hardcore. Because if I'm already in a long shot spot and I get picked off and I'm behind cover, you know, using last stand is not that bad of an idea. I feel like there's only a few cases where last stand isn't that big of a chode move. And that's grinding tedious ass camos like this and then maybe search and destroy but i feel like you're still kind of a dickhead using it in search and destroy but it can be useful like i can see strats for it it could be clutch but if you're just using it in normal multiplayer normal shoot house why would you do that to yourself you're just gonna die anyways there's very few opportunities where you're gonna actually be able to revive yourself but if you are a last stand user in this game and you're watching this let me know why 
I, I want to hear, I, I want to pick the brain of somebody who uses that as a perk. The only thing I can see why people are using it is if like the default perk package for it has like good perks leading up to it and you just don't have it all unlocked yet. Also, I was watching the, the game awards today with my friends in discord. And uh, during that, there was uh, a little trailer for, I, I think it's a new spec ops thing. I can't remember what it's called. It's like called a raid or something, but it's like a three person little like mission you can do that's coming out. I think there's going to be a set of missions. So that's, that's pretty cool. And also the season one reloaded comes out in like a uh, just a few days actually on the 14th so we're gonna be getting shipments soon there's gonna be some content coming here for multiplayer it's gonna be crazy that they're not focusing on like Warzone. but i really wish multiplayer would just get a little more content than just like one map that we've gotten before and like i think there's a gun coming out i'm not too sure I don't know. I'm pretty like unplugged when it comes to that kind of stuff. I, I like to be surprised, but I also, you know, this being my job and everything, want to be at least a little bit prepared. And even though I just said like I, uh, they're releasing a map that we've already seen before that's been in the last like three COD games, you know, besides like Cold War, I, I would like to see some Modern Warfare 2 remastered maps like soon. I think that would be fun. You know, give everybody that little nostalgia bite and then also add some more content here. I'd also like to see gunfight come in like sometime soon. Like if it's not coming in season one reloaded, like it's already confirmed it's not. I want to see it come in in the season two because I, I really enjoyed playing gunfight. Me and my friends would play that all the time. Uh, if there's gunfight tournaments, that'd be even better. You know, get some rewards for doing it. And, you know, maybe some party modes. Let's get infected in here. Let's get gun game. Let's get like something like sticks and stones. And if they could pull off prop hunt in this, I'd be hype. And after one game, how many long shots did we get? Oh, okay. We got 14 in that game. That's not bad. And I forgot to show it earlier, but this is the class I'm using going for long shots. And I think I might switch out dead silence for uh, the deployable cover. That way I have something to mount on to help steady my aim while I'm going for these long shots. And now we're on embassy. This map is actually pretty good for long shots. I get a lot on here. But now that I said that, I probably jinxed it. Oops, sorry, teammate. Kind of got in the way there. But a quick little Pokemon update for those of you that are interested in my, my little journey. Uh, I've completely beat the game and like the post game. So now I can like do like six and seven star raids for like all these events that are coming up. And I'm trying to grind those out so I can get like more money and more like items and stuff so I can make like a competitive team. And I, I'm trying to work on like getting to the point where I have like my full team, all the items I need, them all like EV'd, IV'd out, have all the right abilities, the right nature. And then I'm going to just try to play ranked on there. I haven't really played too much like online Pokemon besides like on uh, like Pokemon Showdown. So I haven't really built my own team before, like from the like a game and try to compete with them. So I'm pretty excited about it. Like it, I've been playing a lot of this game for whenever I'm like rendering a video or just like in my free time. And I've just been like completely addicted to it. So I think uh, soon here, I might try to stream on uh, Twitch you know, and then try to like, like climb the ranked ladder. Now we're halfway through this game and I have three kills. I was just gassing up Embassy on how good it was for long shots, and I'm getting nothing. These guys are just a lot better. I think that might have been one, though, hopefully. I hate this challenge, man. It is so boring and so inconsistent. I have five kills right now, and this game's almost over, and they have, like, a whole VTOL up. I don't even want to do these. I just want to get it done and get it over with. And out of these five kills, I think maybe two of them are long shots. I think maybe I should change, like, my ultimate perk to cold-blooded, because this is ridiculous. Yep, that's the game. And it was seven kills. Maybe three of them were long shots. And let's see our final output after that amazing game. <sighs> we had four. All right, so I just changed up my perks a little bit and I was wrong. Cold-blooded isn't the ultimate perk. It's like the middle perk. So I got cold-blooded on and now I have high alert as well. I figured those would be helpful for uh, hardcore and for just trying to get these long shots. Oof. I just need five more for this and I'm done. Four more, actually. Three more. I love this map. This map is so good for long shots. Ooh. All right, one more. There we go. All right, I think we're done with the Mark II. Moving on to the SPR. Ooh, starting out fast. Honestly, the camo grind in this game is so good outside of long shots. Feels like you can do everything in just about a few games until you get to this challenge. Like, I'll have a few lucky games here and there where I'm getting, like, a lot of progress. But most of the time, it's just me struggling. They're kind of feeding me this game, though. I'm not going to lie. These are the games that make long shots, like, bearable. Ooh. Maybe I just need to keep talking shit on long shots, and then I start to get even more. I got to start using my commentator's curse for, like, good. I'll start saying bad shit, and then good shit will happen. Oof. That was a long one. Pause. And in our first game with the SPR, 11 long shots. Not bad. You know, after we did that whole, like, 
leveling up our weapons in Warzone thing. I've been itching to play it. Warzone solos seem like they're so fun to do right now, especially with Prox chat. The way I was talking my way out of just dying was so much fun. But I haven't really been like the biggest Warzone person in the past few years or maybe like year and a half. I kind of stopped playing it when Vanguard came out because I wasn't really playing it too much. So I didn't have like any weapons leveled up. I didn't have any camos. And it just felt like weird to play it and not have any camos on my guns. And, you know, I was at a huge disadvantage not having any of the weapon, like the meta weapons all leveled with the right attachments and all that. So for those of you that do play Warzone regularly, what's Warzone been like? Are you guys liking it? And if you guys have played solos, is that any good? Because the only thing, the only downside I see is like the, the 2v2 gulag. I mean, it can be fun. It's like whatever. But I hate being paired up with some like random. I think gulag, at least in solos, should be 1v1. Because like if your teammate dies in there, it, it becomes like a 1v2 situation. I think it's still only like the people that survive get out. And I guess you can like try to ask them to kill the jailer with you or the whatever it's called the the jug with like the minigun but that hardly ever works you'll end up getting betrayed I, I would definitely betray somebody but from my experience in warzone so far in this game it feels like the games take so much longer than before i don't know if it's just because i haven't played in a while but it seems like every game if you're like making it into like the top 20 or something it takes like a half hour at least I, there needs to be something to speed it up one thing that I'll give them though is I really like how the the final circles kind of split off and like can join together or like constantly move around. I think that's really fun. It it helps you out if you don't really have like good circle position and you can kind of last until it moves because then it forces like everybody to get out of the way and go to a different spot so people aren't just camping around. But like mid game feels so slow. Like you start out, you can like hot drop somewhere if you want, you know, get some action early on. Then after that, it's kind of just like walking around simulator. Not a whole lot to do. And I've just been getting like molly whopped this game. I can't get to any long shot angles without just getting picked off on my way there or dying immediately immediately upon like arriving like the the conditions need to be perfect to be able to get long shots and i hate it what did i just get a hit marker did that guy not die or is that the guy with last stand it is oh i just collided we take those i think i can think about while i'm just sitting here like mindlessly doing this is just how bad i want to play pokemon i really just need to stream it so i have an excuse to play but i also got to get these camos done it, it, it's such a struggle I, it's like a, the perfect struggle, the struggle that I want. I want to be able to be like, man, should I play this game or should I play that game? But Pokemon's calling my name. Did we end up getting the SPR done though? Oh, we did. That's two down, four to go. Honestly, I might just put Breaking Bad back on. I've seen that show through probably about like 25 times. No joke. Like it's got to be close to that number. And I kind of want to watch it all over again. I think it, in my current rewatch, I'm on like season four maybe season five i'm like pretty deep into it but i i just do this thing where i'm like oh yeah what should i watch man i don't know there, there's nothing on like my youtube recommended that i'm liking nothing else on like netflix or hulu looks good yeah let's just watch breaking bad all over again and then when i'm done with that oh better call saul and then sometimes i'll throw on el camino i don't know what it is with me I can binge an entire series but movies I, it's so hard for me to watch so if you guys got some good shows out there let me uh let me know what are you guys watching? Yep, I'm officially giving in. I'm watching Breaking Bad again. I just can't wait until we have all these classes done. And then the only time I'm going to have to do long shots is when a new gun comes out. I won't have to do like 150 long shots back to back to back again. Unless they drop an entire like new class of weapons, which you know what? At that point, I'd be fine with because that's plenty of new content. Hey, shout out to Breaking Bad. The second I started watching it, I got the EBR done. No way. There must be a blood moon. We got tier one shoe house. Last time I played tier one shoe house, I got so many long shots. I couldn't even count them. Let's try to keep that going today. It just sucks that we're on the LMS right now. This thing sucks so much cock. It still basically needs like two shots to kill anybody in hardcore. Okay, but we're, we're popping off. The aim's on one right now, or at least for those two shots. But I want to try to get this thing done as fast as possible here. Like when people talk about the middle of shoe house being good for long shots, for me, it only works while I'm playing hardcore. In core, I feel like it would only really work with like snipers. Everything else is just hit marker city. Why are you throwing smoke grenades at a time like this? You were fucking it up for everybody. You know that? And you still died. And I died. This helps nobody. I think for this game, I might need to switch the thermals because there's just so many smokes going down. Where is a thermal? There, we'll, we'll use this. We're going to have to adapt. 
Okay, we are drilling this. Please keep peeking. Keep feeding me. I'm hungry for these long shots. Yeah. I have a VTOL ready, but I'm not even going to call it in. I'm calling in a UAV and then I'm leaving the VTOL. Oh, I got an advanced UAV though. We can call that bad boy in. I'm going to get like two more long shots over here and then I'm switching weapons because I feel like I'm pretty close to getting this platinum or I already have it. Okay, one more, one more. There it is. All right, switching guns. Got to make sure that I edit this one. I'm going to stay right here. So if this guy wants to come get a long shot on me, he can. And we got to throw a thermal on this bad boy. I feel like if I just keep messing this guy up. Oh, there we go. He got a kill on me. But I always have this theory that if somebody's always coming to the same spot for long shots and you just end up killing them too many times, they're not going to come back and you're going to ruin your own progress. So sometimes you just got to give them some. Got to be a symbiotic relationship. Look at this pile of bodies. Just me and my teammate going to the same spot over and over again. I feel like I would have zero complaints about long shots if there was just a tier one shoot house playlist. Like, please. If anybody at COD's listening to this, I know it's probably a fucking far cry, but do me and the whole community a favor. Make a tier one shoe house playlist and I'll, I won't complain about anything for 24 hours. Maybe. So I really do like complaining. Like, look at this. I have 41 kills right now. A majority of those are long shots. These are the kind of games I want where I'm getting two guns done in the same game. It just speeds up the process so much. There's no reason to spend all that time playing. I'm still going to play COD. Like you don't got to worry about that, Activision. My playtime is still going to be pretty high. But you don't need to be taking all of my the, the time of my life making me play on some stupid-ass maps going for these. No, it's over. Goodbye, sweet prince. Now, let's just see the progress we got from that. So, our LMS. What? It's not done? Shit. Okay. Well, we switched weapons. How far did we get on our SAB? Seven. Okay, so decent. Pretty decent, but not as much as I thought. And now we're back to stupid ass Crown Royale. <sighs> Honestly, now that I started using thermals, I might just keep using them. Makes it a lot easier to see people. Doesn't make it any easier to aim though. That I can't really fix without optic. That's just my brain hand eye coordination. But it's kind of dumb how uh, the people don't show up too easy on it. It seems like corpses show up so much better than actual people. Okay, maybe that's wrong. Cause that guy showed up pretty well on it. Maybe it's just a lot of people running cold-blooded or they're too far away. Oh, we're finally done with this stupid ass gun. We have two more left. All right, I'm pretty sure I'm done with the uh, SAB. So now I'm moving on to our final gun, the TAC-M. Let's make sure we have the SAB done. We do, sick. And just 18 more to go on our TAC-M and we are completely done with the marksman rifles. Ooh, we are flying through these. Come on, keep feeding me, please. Let me be done. We have like... 13 or 12 left. I lost count. Come on. I just need a few more long shots. I think we just need like four at this point. I've already gotten a few this game. Oh, there we go. It's working. Ooh. Ooh, another one. I gotta be like one away at this point. We just need one more. This cannot be over soon enough. Please just let me get like two more just to be safe. Maybe even three. Ooh, that might've been it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. There's no way we don't have this done now. Okay. We for sure got it now. 100%. I'm scared to back out of this game though. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm not a pussy. Fingers crossed. Do we have it done? Oh, let's go. Woo. All the marks and rifles are complete. We're now 42 out of 51. We are so close to polyatomic. It is crazy. Let's take a quick little peek at platinum on these marks and rifles. Not my favorite camo in the world, but it meaning that we're so much closer to polyatomic just warms my little heart. Look at this bad boy. Couldn't have asked for anything better. So that's another class down. I think next we're either going to work on the LMGs or the battle rifles. Well, I guess that's like the only classes we have left to do. I kind of want to save the LMGs for when shipment comes out. So maybe we'll do battle rifles next, but we'll see. But anyways, that's it for today's video. I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. It really does mean the world to me. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later.